hello and welcome guys welcome to cracksway youtube channel and today in this video i'm gonna show you how can you install latest magic x 6.0 rom on our xiaomi redmi note 5 pro and i will show you its latest features specifications and other things so without wasting time let's get started As you can see here, this is Redmi Note 5 Pro and I'm on MIUI Global Stable version 10.3.1.0 right now and which is based on Android Pie. And I'm going to install the Magic X 6.0 on this Redmi Note 5 Pro. And to install the Magic X 6.0 on your Redmi Note 5 Pro, what you have to do is you have to simply install custom recovery on your phone. You can install any other custom recovery you wanted to but I will suggest you to install the latest Peace Black custom recovery on your phone and I have already installed latest custom recovery Peace Black on my Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro and if you don't know how to install the latest custom recovery Peace Black on your Redmi Note 5 Pro then you can check my video I have already made a video on how to install custom recovery Peace Black on your Redmi Note 5 Pro then you can check my video the video will be in the description so that you can easily install custom recovery Peace Black on your Redmi Note 5 Pro. And after installing custom recovery on your phone, then you have to download this Magic X 6.0 ROM zip file from the description below. I'll provide the link in the description below so that you can easily download this Magic X 6.0 ROM zip file. So now I will power off my phone and I will go to the custom recovery mode by pressing the power button and the volume up button simultaneously. You can see here I'm pressing the power button and volume up button simultaneously so that I will be redirected to the custom recovery mode. And you can see here this is how custom recovery piece black look like. So first of all what you have to do is you have to click on the wipe button and click on the advanced wipe button. And from here you have to select Dalvik, System, Catch, Data and Fender and then Swipe. And now the wiping process has been completed. Now go back. And click on the install button and search for the Magic X 6.0 ROM zip file that you have downloaded from the description below. So simply click on it and then swipe. And this kind of Magic interface will appear here. So what you have to do is you have to click on the next button. And this is the installation process and you can see here there are lots of customization available during the installation process and you can see here the lots of customization available here you can select anyone you want it to and at last you can see here there is root access so already checked here so I will click on next button and I will click on next button again and I will click on next button again but you can customize if you want it to and you can see here the percentage is increasing that means the Magic X ROM is installing on our device. And finally it is 100% as you can see here. So simply click on next button. And then this kind of interface will appear. So simply swipe here. And click on the reboot system. You can see here there is reboot system written there. So simply click on it. And your phone will reboot to system. And MI logo will appear here. And after some time MI UI 10 innovation logo will also appear there. So you can see here the logo appears. So this process might take some time. So I will fast forward this process. And as you can see here, the booting process has been completed. Now this is a simple basic boot setup. So I will fast forward this setup as well. So finally we are in Magic X 6.0 ROM on our Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro as you can see here. And now I'm going to download some applications like PUBG, Unto the Benchmark Score, Manual Camera, Root Checker application so that I will show you its more feature. So I will see you later on. And I'm back and I have downloaded some applications here. So first of all I will open the Manual Camera so that we can check either camera to API is enabled or not. So as you can see here. All the green signals indicates that the camera to API is enabled. And now you just have to install the Google camera application on your phone and you can enjoy the Google camera on your Redmi Note 5 Pro on Magic X 6.0 ROM. 
and if you want to install google pixel camera on redmi note 5 pro without installing any custom recovery like twrp peace black or any other custom recovery and without rooting your phone then i have made a separate video on it i will provide the link of the video in the description below so that you can easily install google pixel camera on your phone without installing any custom recovery and without rooting your phone and now let's check the antutu benchmark score of this rom and you can see here the antutu benchmark score of this rom is 114581 which is pretty good and other applications are downloading here as you can see here on the screen so until then i will show you the more feature of magic x 6.0 rom so first of all i will open the camera and you can see here on the camera section there is ai mode available so artificial intelligence mode is available in the camera so now let's go to the video section and check either it supports 4k video recording or not and on the video section as you can see here there is 4k video recording at 30 fps is available that means yes you can record the 4k video also and now i will show you its notification panel and you can see here this is how notification panel looks like so i will go to the setting menu here and you can see here this is the setting menu of magic x 6.0 rom and i will go to my device here and you can see here there is redmi note 5 written there but actually it's redmi note 5 pro and now i will click on the all specs and you can see here android version android 9.0 that means android pi is running on our magic x 6.0 rom and now i will go back and you can see here the android security pass level of 2019 6.1 which is the latest android security pass level available right now and i will press the miui version about seven times and i will be a developer here you can see here you are now a developer so now let's see what new features are available in the magic x 6.0 room on the setting menu so i will start from the display setting so i will click on it and at first there is display size option you can increase and decrease the display size as you want it to and there is reading mode also available there you can enable it if you want it to and as you know that reading mode will reduce the strain on your eyes so it's a good feature and you can see here there is dark mode option available there when you enable it all the things will become dark so this is the most interesting feature available right here so you can see here the setting menu is dark here and i will open this file manager you can see here the file manager is not dark here right now so i will open the notes and it is dark here and on gallery you can see here the gallery is also dark here and on gallery you can see here there is a new feature available there there is memories option also available there in the gallery section so this is the new feature added here so now i will go back to the setting section and now you can change the system font as well you can see here there is system font option available there and when you click on the view more option you will see lots of other fonts are also available there you can use any font you want it to and now i'll go back and below there you can see here there is text size option available there now you can increase or decrease the text size and for now i will increase the text size here and there are other options available there like double tap to wake and at last you can see here there is system animation option available there you can choose the system animation that you want it to and for now i'm going to use this one so you can see here how the system animation changes here and there are similar features available in wallpaper themes sound and vibration like in miui rom so i directly go to the lock screen and password and you can see here there is add fingerprint option available there as well as face unlock option also available there and now let's check how fast is the fingerprint sensor in this magic x 6.0 rom and as you can see here the fingerprint sensor is working perfectly fine and is really pretty fast okay now i will go to the notification and status bar setting and you can see here there is icons in status bar option available there and there is hide alarm and bluetooth icon you can hide them if you want it to and below there there is new option available there and that is show weather and when you enable the option and then you just have to swipe down so simply swipe down and you can see here there is weather temperature available there and the current temperature available on the lock screen as well and there are other options also like show ct so 2g 3g 4g ld indicator as well you can enable them if you want it to and below there there are other options like show notification icon available there and below there there is battery indicator option available there and for now there are three options available 
okay i will go back and go to the home screen and recent setting and there you can see home screen layout option available there so there are lots of options available there you can choose anyone you want it to so you can see here in this way the layout changes here so you can choose anyone you want it to and i will prefer this one 4 by 6 so this is perfect for me and inside the home screen and recent setting you can see here there is blur app preview option available there when you click on it you can see here the camera application is already enabled here so what i will do is i will go back and i will open the camera application and after then i will click on the recent navigation button so you can see here their camera application is blurred out and other applications are not blurred so this is the feature here and there is also a full screen display option available there so you can enable if you want it to and there is a new feature called as screen time and you can see here there is 45 minute written there that means i've been using this phone for 45 minutes and at last you can see here there is a new feature called as unlocked 18 times so this means it will count how many times you have locked your phone screen so i will lock here and it will be 19 here so it is 19 here and i will lock again and it will be 20 so you can see here it is 20 now so basically this counts how many times you have locked your phone screen so this is the new feature available here and now I will go to the battery and performance and you can see here there are lots of options available there and there is extreme battery saver option also available there. So it is the new feature available here you can use this feature if you want it to and below there there is power setting and it's better to keep on the balanced mode so it is already enabled so I will go back and for now I will disable this extreme battery saver so that it will increase the brightness and you will see the display clearly. And now I'm on developer option here and there is an extended power menu option here. So I have enabled it and when you long press your power button, you will see two features available there. You can directly go to the recovery and fast boot mode from here. And when you disable this, these two features will be disappear. So I will enable this feature. And I forget to tell you the new feature on the lock screen and password setting. So click on it and go to the advanced setting and there you will see a lock screen and clock format setting. So click on it and from here you can change the clock format on lock screen mode. You can use any one you want it to. And for now I'm going to use this vertical one. So I will go to the lock screen mode and you can see here the clock is in vertical format right now. And now I will go back. And at last you can see here there is app lock setting available there. So I will simply click on it. And I will draw the pattern here and you can see here there is use face unlock option available there. That means you can use the face unlock option on the app lock as well. And I hope I show you all the features of Magic X 6.0 ROM and if I didn't please mention on the comment section below. And now I have downloaded some applications here. So I will open the application here. First of all, I will open the root checker application. And you can see here the root checker application shows that our phone is completely rooted. And on every Magic ROM, you can play 4K video on YouTube. So I will play a 4K video here. And yes, we can play the 4K video on YouTube on this ROM as well. So this is also a feature on this Magic ROM. And now I'm going to open the PUBG game and let's see on which graphic and on which frame rate we can play the game PUBG. So as you can see here, we can play this game on balanced graphic and on medium frame rate only. So this is all about the Magic X 6.0 ROM on our Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro and I hope you know all the features of this ROM and I hope you know how to install this ROM on your phone. And guys, please comment down below what do you think about this ROM and do you want to install this ROM on your phone? So that's it for today. Hope you like this video and if you like this video, just hit that like button, comment below and share this video as much as you can. And don't forget to subscribe to our CrackSuite YouTube channel and hit that notification bell as well. So I will see you in my next video. Until then, goodbye.